Hello True Believers, time to do another vlog and this time we are going to talk about the state of football in the Philippines, specifically youth football regarding Saris and Saris was the club that Hero joined. He was initially with Stallion, then there were some political issues with Stallion where they couldn't play with the YFL anymore. So for Hero to continue playing in the YFL, which is the youth football league, he had to switch teams because the youth football league is the only league here in the country that plays 11 aside football, which he needs very badly, which they play every Sundays at the Alabama Country Club. The problem came in was, this happened while I was in prison actually, is that the pandemic happened. And if you know anything about Saris Negros, their company, their business is there in the bus tour business. And for, for people to travel all over the Philippines, they would get on, especially for the long trips from one region to another region. The problem that came in with the pandemic is that completely stopped. I mean, every business, was in trouble. The only business that thrived that did well was the businesses that allowed you to stay home or work or stay home period, like delivery businesses, online shop shopping, technology-based companies. But when it came to traveling or factories, that's why you have like all these supply chain issues, they were in deep trouble. And companies, bus companies like Ceres were completely wiped out because no traveling was allowed whatsoever for a very long time. And they needed the revenue that came in on a regular basis. And it was, and like a lot of companies, they needed to service their debts. And once their debts weren't being able to be serviced, then you're facing a situation where you're looking at uh, some people call it bankruptcy, I call it circling the wagons. And I actually looked up an article over here about Saris. It says here, are Filipinos finest going under? And it says over here, I'll, I'll give you the, the gist of the article. Reports have been circulating throughout the internet since Friday morning at Saris, that Saris Negros, a behemoth of Filipino Southeast Asian football has gone bust. The three-time Philippine Football League champions were reportedly affected by the ongoing COVID pandemic financially with the team being unable to pay their players for the past two months. So this is not rumor, this is actually real because this fast forward, I, they're no long, they no longer exist. The Twitter account Filipino Football first brought up the news regarding Saris apparent demise. This is back in 2020 on Friday, shortly after tweeting about the retirement of the Philippines national team legend, the James Young husband, and while the initial tweet was meant was met with this, there is no official word of the football regarding disbanding themselves. An article, so let's go. Former defender Joshua revealed to the World Game about the situation that he has faced in the Saris, said that he has ended his contract with the PFL behemoth, stating the club hasn't paid their players in two months due to the pandemic, which has caused the club's owners to declare bankruptcy. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So they, 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 if you look at their lineup, they have a lot of foreigners or imports on their squad. So that's why they were very successful. Not, nothing anything about homegrown talent. I mean, that's the idea of football. That's what causes rivalry is like, you take homegrown talent and you, you match it against other talents from other regions to create a rivalry. But anyway, to the, the point of this is Ceres no longer exists as a company because they went bankrupt because of the pandemic. Like I said, anything that requires face-to-face, -face, like these factories that require workers are, are, are what's causing the supply chain issues. That's why, for example, cars, car dealers, car lots with like huge, they used to have this huge inventory is now big parking lots because they, the workers, they can't get the workers to show up to work because of the pandemic. Imagine that for, uh, 
for over a year, two years, going on three years now. So, so what, so what happened? So as we know it, Saris no longer, so the, the football club, the professional team, the youth football team no longer has a sponsor. They are no longer Saris. So all of a sudden, the, there's no professional team. So the people that was in charge of the youth football league switched over to another football club which isn't doesn't really exist or doesn't really have any sponsors they just they just exist on as title so they switched over to Davao FC so it's another football club but they too don't really have any sponsors I mean as you could see this is an old uniform that was donated to them which is actually pretty cool if I give you a, a quick review I actually like it so it's with the theme of like a tribal Davao uh, if you look at the logo it has this kind of tribal logo design on it so it's not bad and their white uniform as you can see it has these tribal patterns on it and with the shorts so in white so it actually looks pretty good so i i borrowed this uniform so this was donated to them by the davao fc in return they, they you could use their name but they don't even have a professional team also but they still exist and from my understanding somebody in the comments correct me if i'm wrong but they don't have a professional t uh, if I look at right now who's like standing in the Philippines Football League I don't see their name showing up as an active team but they are still a team so this is kind of who donated some uniforms for since there's no more Saris so they so they said so we so we took on their their name in the meantime the problem is we have now a big void in terms of sponsorships. So the, it, the complicated part now is I was approached by the coach if I could help out in terms of becoming a producer, becoming a manager, and try to get some sponsorships. Of course, I I'll, said I'll do what I can. But the problem is that I don't really, I've been out of commission in the last several years mm -hmm. and people know why and like i said i don't have really any contacts and i'm kind of damaged goods right now it'll take a while for me to gain any support so at this point that the only the only people i can support or take care of is only my own it's like physician heal thyself it's like it's like take care of your family first before i can take care of other people's family so i'm I'm concerned about, um, of course, I'm, I'm running on auxiliary. I mean, it might look like that we have a lot of things here and there, but they're like small things, the things I need to replace. And they're for my own family. So I really ha don't have a choice uh, because they're my priority. It's all about priorities. So, but the coach still sees that I've got this, I must have, I mean, they, they need, they're desperate. They need sponsors. So I said, you know, I'll, see what I can do I mean I don't know anybody but I can communicate and I can put it on my channel saying that like hey the the youth football club that hero plays on needs help because they're they don't have a sponsor and the sponsor they used to have went bankrupt so he gave me a list of expenses of what what a sponsor what what they need for sponsorship Obviously, we have what we have here is that you you pay for your to play, but the problem comes in. So, so th so then who pays? Then well, then you just sponsor yourself. Uh, you just pay for the the coaching, the facilities, the tournaments. So you just kind of div divvy it up, divide up the expenses. Mm -hmm. It's called, in the Philippines, it's called ambag ambagan. Mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in prison, I used to use that a lot. Mm -hmm. So, but the problem is I was carrying most of the heavy lifting is the problem. But, so, so that's, that would be the solution. The problem with that solution is that football is in a poor country is not a priority. First of all, you've got 
kids that want to play. You saw the Tuloy Foundation where it's a bunch of orphans in this. It's, it's, it's for the juveniles that get in trouble with the law and that's kind of their, their place where they stay. So uh, and, and there's a reason why they're juvenile delinquents is because they don't have support. They don't have family. It's, it is a third world poor country. We have people having single moms that can't support their kids and and bahala na throw caution to the wind. Mm -hmm. So we we got that situation where we got the indigenous football young football players that want to play, and they're pretty good, but they don't have the money. And just like in America, it's worse here in the Philippines. Football is a rich person's sport, and if you're not rich, then you can't play the sport. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we're rich, but we're rich enough to be able to pay for our own. And everybody knows the kind of, I have my own pandemic, I had my own financial crisis, I had my own problems, but I always made sure that I take, took care of my own family. But so if I can take care of other people's families, I could, but right now I can't, but this is my way. And then like, do I, it's like I always said before that I know people that could help, but I can't say that right now because I don't know anybody. I don't, the only people I know is the people watching this video and that's nobody. I'm not saying you're a nobody, but you have to ask yourself. <laughs> it's, it's like, can you, are you somebody that can make a difference? Then if the answer is yes, then you let me know. But if the answer is no, then you're just as the same as a nobody, even though you're not. The point I'm making here, so let's go to the expense. So, the coach sent me uh, an expense of what it's like to to run a youth football club. And there's things we could do to save money, of course. So the, the people that pay, so the, so the second problem is that there, there's poor kids that just can't pay. The families just can't pay. Number two, the other problem is there's families that can pay, but it's not a priority. I remember one of Hero's football teammates. Uh, they had to. Uh, it was they had to make a decision between making car payments or putting their kids through private school. So of course we don't have any car payments, so we can afford to put Hero through private school. But one of his football teammates had to go to a public school, which did not have football. Obviously, they don't have a football field. They just have a, a shack for a or a school house, like Little House on the Prairie, and had to drop out and he couldn't play football anymore because his school didn't have a football because they prioritized the car payments because the car payments is probably how they get to work. And they, I, I can understand that. But then there are, and this is, this is common, this is the culture here in the Philippines where because of the level of, I'm not saying negative or positive or or one culture is better than the other. I'm just telling the the this, the reality. And the reality is, uh, people their wants become, come before their needs. There's nothing more common than like you'll see parents with like very expensive cars, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Mercedes Benzes, and then you'll see their kids bringing their equipment in like a plastic bag or a trash bag or an eco bag their football accessories and paraphernalia versus us you see that we like buy Gore-Tex I'm not saying this is made out of gold or anything like that but something that's weatherproof and those those cost money and I don't have a Lamborghini but I do have a bag that will keep heroes clothes and and accessories and equipment safety equipment dry if it all of a sudden decides to rain here in the Philippines, which can happen at any time. So the point is priorities. Not only do we run into the struggle that there is no, that there's obviously it's a poor third world developing country. There's people that don't have money, but they're good at football. And then there's people that do have money, but it's not their priority. And maybe, I mean, that's not one way for me to judge one way for, for another that's their life that's their money i can't tell them to do just like they can't tell me to, what to do with my money or with my life i can't tell them to do what to do with their life with their money so i would prioritize my kids over my own selfish needs 
which is not very common here. I mean, I will give up my own health and my own physical fitness <laughs> so Hiro could become physically fit, just like I said. Because of the pandemic, we only have one hour in the gym. I would love to do my own gym workout also, but since we only have one hour at a time, then I, I sacrifice it so Hiro could, because he needs it more for his school, his club, his, his country versus me. I'm just a old convict with arthritis in his hands. So anyway, so the coach approached me and he kind of gave me a breakdown of the costs. So if you look at it, I, we're, we're talking about like, for example, over here, we're like, here, let me see. Like, for example, here we got focus here. Focus. So, hold on. Focus. So we got field rental. So if we can, if we can focus on the field rental over here. Uh, we, 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 we train at Alabang Country Club and we, come on, focus. focus here so we and vermosa which is total as you can see at the top of that the cost is total in four weeks is seventeen thousand four hundred which is like four weeks that's seventeen thousand so that's that's like three hundred and fifty let's just say four hundred dollars so a hundred dollars a week in rental facilities and then over here we got coaching staff head coach assistant coach goalkeepers coach total in four weeks so let's say four hundred dollars for the field so a hundred dollars a week then over here for the coaches their their salaries their pay is sixty four thousand pesos a month which is what uh, one thousand three hundred so and then tr player transportation co computed to 20 players who commute 150 times 20 then so we're, we're looking at another thousand dollars over here and then training expenses so we got food water ice 500 per day so total of, so this is probably more like towards a professional team you know obviously they could bring their own food their own ice but if you're poor then maybe not so much so here we go the estimated expenses every four weeks is 137,400 pesos or a total of about you know three thousand dollars a month or about a hundred dollars a day give or take so that's the kind of estimate that i was kind of sent to so to have a uh to have one team here like you said of uh what do you say like 20 players now that's probably two teams right there so where where do we cut costs obviously if we can get so right now they're charging 2000 for a member annual membership fee and uh, 500 to 700 dollars per session 500 to 700 pesos per session so okay 10 dollars per training session and normally the it's subsidized by the sponsor like saris but in this situation saris went bankrupt and normally they could subsidize it because they could they were using saris the football team as part of their advertising expenses but since nobody's traveling nobody's allowed to travel there's no tourism here in the philippines for over two years we can't be doing that anymore so the point i'm saying here is so there so the cost so they're charging the parents the pay to play the 2000 pesos a year and then an additional uh, what they have is for 20 sessions 10000 pesos which is like uh, 200 dollars for 10 sessions which is like uh, what is that 10 dollars per session if you can do, do 20 teams so roughly that's about that and let's even say that half the parents of the kids can afford that you're still looking at a one thousand five hundred dollar deficit deficit per month or fifty dollars a day and i was asked or tasked to see if i can somehow find sponsors that could help the subsidize that deficit so hero could 
continue with this football club. If not, we're going to have to make more adjustments. Maybe we have a smaller team, only the people that can pay can actually play, which is very unfortunate, but it, it is a reality. I mean, we just have to adjust. We have, I mean, this the, the Filipinos are a culture of resilience. It is not a culture of discipline, that's for sure. It is not a culture of... Uh, priorities that for sure but we are resilient that if, even if there is no money no shoes no 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 money no food no water no problem <laughs> they, they'll, they'll still show up you, you got the you got the professional teams or the the national teams over here even though they have no uniform no shoes no sponsorship no equipment they'll still show up barefoot so that's just how resilient they are and they just kind of use the the devil may care, bahala, not throw caution to the wind. I, uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge once we get there. And if they, uh, we have no equipment and we have no shoes, and we just show up to these tournaments with no shoes. So that's what we're looking at. So uh, what could you do? Uh, like I said, I don't know anybody. I don't have. I only have money for my own family. I don't have money for other people's families. So well, what I'm doing is what I, but what I can do is I have the gift of communication is what I could do is communicate to people, hey, we need help, the kids here need help. Heroes football team, football club needs help because, they're, uh, because their, their sponsor became the victim of the pandemic and they're on this, on this kind of, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make it till we fake it and see if we could find help. So I'm, I'm the messenger. I'm the emissary here. So yes, I, I, I can find sponsors for, for Hero, but uh, could I find, find sp sponsors for the other kids? And so this team, for, for the whole team, so to subsidize the team so they can have football here in the Philippines. And for some, for most people, I understand it's not a priority. Everybody has their own problems, but if you can just contribute to the bananas or to the water or to the facilities or for uniforms, then that would be, that's one less thing to worry about. I mean, don't, I always say it's, it's like if, if you're thinking that everybody else is doing something that you're not doing, then if everybody's thinking that and doing that, then nobody's doing anything. Nobody's helping. Nobody's making a difference. I always say, like Michael Jackson said, start with the man in the mirror. It's like, don't worry about what uh, or hoping or thinking or assuming that other people will do it. Because if you do that, then if everybody does the same thing, then nothing is going to happen and no difference. Just start out with yourself. Even if you could just afford one banana, let us know. And that at least is one less banana we have to worry about. And every little bit helps. And I know you could probably say, well, it's just football. But for these, for, 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 for these kids, for a lot of these kids, it's football is their life. Football is their passion. Football is their escape. Football is their vice. Football is their mistress. Football is their gambling vice. Because if you don't, then they get into other vices that are not healthy. So that's, even though it is just football, it is for some people, it is their lifeline, especially the poor people here in the Philippines. So I, I'm, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna get any sponsors from this video to help with the bananas or the water or the facility or with the coaches or with the transportation. But at least at the end of the day, I can go to sleep saying, hey, I, I tried, I did everything within my power. The rest now is up to you. So let me know if you can help. If you can help, great. If not, then thanks for watching anyway. And maybe you know somebody that can help and ask them, hey, the kids in the in Heroes Football Club needs help because there's their previous sponsor went. I mean, Hero can sponsor himself and, and work his way through and pay his way through football to pay to play. But he can't, he's not a team him alone is not a team and if there's like 10 or 11 other people like me parents like me that could take care of their own kids and pay to play for football so they could form a team together you're sol as far as i know there's only one type of person in this world like me and that's me so you can't be counting on something that's not 
possible. And like uh, 11, 10, 11 other people like me, not likely in terms of prioritizing their, their kids' football. So that's why I'm asking for help. I have hat in hand. I will swallow my pride and e-beg so the kids could have football and they could have a chance at and maybe just maybe uh, that it will make a difference in their lives but anyway if you want to make a difference let us know in the comments i'm easy to contact everybody knows i'm not if you're looking for me i'm not very hard to find if you want to help i'd be more than happy to help facilitate how you can help and just maybe like i said i'm being conservative over here they gave me the whole cost i mean we don't have to cover the whole cost but even at half the cost we're still looking at 1500 a month which is i know is a lot of money but it's not if you can divide it among 10 people if you got 10 people watching this that say hey i can afford to do 150 a month then we could definitely cover that then we can have continue having a team but if you can only cover 50 a month or a or a dollar fifty a day, just like uh, your. That's I know that's not gonna buy a Starbucks, but over here that will make a big huge difference. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. So I, I laid out the cost. They told me what what their cost is, what what their needs, why they need it, and right now we don't really have a team because it's okay because there's really not there's there's no football league yet but it is starting so we want to get ready okay let me know in the comments what you think and if there's anything else i can think of i'll do another blog probably i i did but if you have any questions that i that i'm missing or that i didn't answer then let me know in the comments and i would gladly answer the questions anyway this is about only thanks for watching